Hey, yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. I am up here on my little uh, dirt pillar once again uh, to show you guys what I've done off camera. Off camera. Yeah, that makes sense, you know. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, here you go. That was very anticlimactic, but I just gone ahead and uh, finished up this whole fence line on all of our four crop fields. Um, I've kind of left this one plain still because I'm not actually using it just yet. And then I just went ahead and added some scarecrows, you know, in the fields to make it, uh, you know, a bit better. And I've put some, like, hidden lights around the place. And as you can see for this little water thing just here, maybe you realize that we're going to be working on that today. So, yeah, that should be pretty fun. I have some cool ideas for those little things in there. So, I've gone ahead and already um, kind of, like, terraformed them a little bit. Um, not quite, like, all the way, though. Oh, i got to show you these gates as well. Also, this looks really good. I'm getting so sidetracked already, you know, like I could just be walking down somewhere and just, ooh, look at this, look at this. Um, but yeah, this is uh, because of the, let's look at our resource pack, the Better Leaves mod. Um, I'll leave, um, not a mod, it's a resource pack, but I'll leave it, I think it's by Jersey Boy or something like that. I'll leave the link down in the description below. It just makes things look so much cooler. And um, yeah, this is our little kind of gateways to come into here and things. Um, I was going to go ahead and sprinkle some, like... Uh, you know, hay bales around the place just to make it kind of seem a bit more, you know, like they're getting ready to be cropped and, you know, moved around and things. I thought it could add like a little little something extra to the place. I won't add too many up there. I was thinking of getting rid of this and adding like, kind of like a, like a, what do you call it? Like a hay bale chairing thing with like a campfire in the middle, like kind of like a little zone like that kind of thing. I don't know. I thought it could look pretty cool, but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just... Break out a couple of these ones. Don't really want you there, though. Let's pop you just there. Eh. Go. Dang. I knew that would happen. Okay, we'll just do that anyway. And then that one as well. I should really bring a bloody hoe with me when I come into these crop fields. Um, but as you can see here, we just kind of like already dug out kind of like an area. I added like a little water feature just in here. So that's pretty much what we're going to be working on today, I think. Um... Unfortunately, I don't have uh, any... What else do we want in there? Probably some gravel. Um, yeah, I don't have any... Uh the mod, the replay mod or anything like that. So we're going to do some of it live and then some of it I'm just going to have to cut and things and just kind of have to go from there. But by the looks of this, I kind of need to dig out a little bit more just along here anyways. And then we can kind of just fill it in with some coarse dirt. Um, we can like change all this up. I really need to dig this out a lot more actually than what I already had it done. Um, but I don't really want any stone kind of laying around, you know, like... If you look at kind of the other things, you don't really have much stone around the place. Maybe we can get some andesite in here as well, um, just to shake things up a little bit, like add a little bit of a different terrain. Um, but yeah, we're pretty much just going to be adding all this stuff around here. Uh, maybe a little bit of cobble we can sprinkle in as well. Um, it wouldn't hurt. We can just go ahead and put you in there. We'll do some more dirt around the place. Looking good. We'll get some more gravel. It's probably the only time I'm ever going to use gravel, but, you know, it. it I think it, it works well um, for what it is. Uh, we'll throw in some more just around here. Chuck in some more dirt. Nice, looking all right. Let's uh, break up this little kind of corner area just in here. Let's chuck in one of you. And then I think for this, like, kind of stone, we're going to, like, add, like, a stone feature wall, I guess you'd call it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, dig out this little bit just in here. And use that. We're going to use uh, a couple of mossy, you know. Why not? Let's put um, some moss back in there. And on this one as well. There we go. Looking looking pretty cool. And then we can go ahead and just probably sprinkle some, like, mossy stone around the place. Um, just to, you know, help break up some of the texturing a little bit. And add a little bit more detail to this thing. So that's out there. I did forget I've forgotten some things, so I'm going to have to go back quickly and grab those, and I'll meet you guys back here in a second. Alrighty, so I got back. I got some uh, kind of like some like a bit of wooden slabs and things just to kind of help the place a little bit, you know, add a little bit more of a different kind of texture. We will need to kind of waterlog a few of these as well. So there we go. I'm going to just grab some more water just here. Is this one here all right? Yeah, that one's doing all right. Um, we can probably chop in... A little something like this around the place, you know, just to help help the place a little bit. Um, let's 
do that. There we go. And now I did go ahead and grab some fish as well, but we will save to put those in to the very end. We go ahead and just kind of add a little bit of this, you know, around the place. Um, nothing too crazy. Let's just do that there as well. We'll break some of these up and, you know, do something like this. And then we can go ahead and add a bit of kelp around here as well. I think that will help the place look a little bit nicer and um, change up the variety and things and just sprinkle them around a little bit. There we are. Put another one over here. Put one over this way. Put something there as well. And that there should be pretty much it. And then we go ahead and chuck some of our fish in the, in the water. Hello, can they go in there? There we go. There's one, two, and we'll put three in this one. There we go, look at that. Awesome. That'll just battle around like one little thing. Can you guys spread out a little bit? Oh, I'm gonna chuck some more in there. There we go. Looking awesome. Hopefully they can't like go up here and kill themselves because that would suck. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're all kind of gruddle, like muddled together, if that's even the right word for it. Um, but I think I might just get rid of this little uh, thing just here and add in some dirt. Let's put you in just there. Nice. There we go. And then that there's looking pretty good. I mean, like, we could, like, add a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of bush around the place, you know, help it out a little bit. Let's put another one in just there. And, yeah, I don't really know what else we could do. Like, I suppose we could get rid of, like, some of these crops around here. I don't know, like a little bit of something around the place just to help it out a little bit. Let's put in another one of those and kind of like adds a little bit more of a terrain and things around this um, that could look a little bit nicer. And let's just break out some of these. Just kind of do it randomly. Not really having to worry about it too much. Let's go ahead and squish all these, I guess. And then we could probably go ahead and add back in some coarse dirt. Um, let's do it like this and like that. Let's go bang, bang. Boop, boop, boop. Could probably break that because that doesn't need to be in there. Um, we could go ahead and add a little bit of cobble. Why not? A little bit of mossy stone around the place. Let's add one of you in there. Go ahead and grab these blocks because they're like not meant to be there. Um, and then we can add, you know, just a bit more of something around the outside just to make it a little bit more interesting. What other blocks do we have? Have some cobblestone we could probably slap down just somewhere as well. Could probably put a, like oak stairs down somewhere, you know, just to really change things up. So something like that just there. Could probably even, oh, not that. Waterlog that one just there. Looking pretty groovy. All these fish are going in the bloody waterfall. Hopefully they don't kill themselves because that would suck. Um, yeah, I know we could probably just add like a little bit more of a, like a little seating area, I guess kind of like in the middle of nowhere but it's fine in case you just wanted to come and sit down by the uh, little lakeside just here we can probably add a little bit of a bush down oh we can't do that one so I guess we can hide that side of the door there then we could add maybe a couple of sugarcane pieces let's hello can you like actually destroy there we go nice looking pretty cool let's chuck you in there chuck another one over this way and yeah, I, th I don't know. It's looking pretty groovy. Let's um, oh, not put you down. Let's uh do that, and I guess we can break you as. Can you destroy as well, please? Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't know. He's looking pretty cool. We probably probably put some more sugar cane over this way, maybe. Um, probably on this one down here. Can stack you all the way up. Probably break you and place in a little bit of cobble, a little bit of slab. Why not change things up a little bit? And, um, yeah, I don't know. It's looking pretty groovy. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think if you've made one of these, you know. It's kind of a weird place to do it in the middle of your crop field, but I don't know. We already had all these, like, kind of, like, water lake things and stuff, so I thought it'd be a cool idea to kind of do it here. And I might, like, add in a pathway, like, it'd probably make a bit of sense, you know, just going down this way. That's what we might actually do right now. So let's just kind of like zigzag a little pathway down here, this way kind of thing. And there we go, we can break these as well. Just like so. And then we can add in our, can you just go away? There we go. 
we'll add in like our little fencing that we did before. Oop, there we go. And then we just kind of just filled it in with a bit of bush and things like this. There we go. Let's we'll put another one in there. We'll get up on this back side as well. And do I have any lanterns with me? I do. There we go. We've got two lanterns that we can just pop in one there and there. And then we can just um, kind of fill them up as well. So it's kind of like adding its own little tree thing to this like area as well. You know, it adds a bit more interest. And then we can kind of just sneak our way in through here. So I'm going to break this stuff just here. We'll try to anyways. Hello? Hello? Like anytime I don't want you to break, you'll break. And then like anytime I do, you won't do it for me. So yeah, we've got like a nice little kind of pathway leading up into uh, our little uh, pond area. I don't know. It looks really groovy, I think. Um, we're going to go ahead and do this to like all of them as well. So that should be pretty fun. And I guess I will you know, chuck you down and then another one just there. You do a little bit of a coarse dirt, you know, on the sides just here. I kind of want this to catch on. So I might leave it and just let the grass come through so we can kind of make it like an actual pathway and things. So we'll let that there be done. And that's our first little one just there. But unfortunately, we don't have any more fish to, um, you know, do with the next one. So we're just going to chuck away all this crap because I don't want it. And then we can move on to the next one. So, yeah, as you can see here, I just kind of like went through the backside. But I had, like, these, like, different, like, gateways and things with some, like, stairs and things coming around the side. Tried to make it, like, as organic as possible. Um, it does look a bit funny. I Don't get me wrong. I, I do think so. Um, we'll just add a little bit of a something there as well. Um, and then it's got to try and find these bloody lakes. I know there was one that way. Um, we do have one over this side just in here these little ponds not lakes um, but this is going to be another bridge one we're going to do the bridges later on in this episode um, so that should be pretty fun so I might do this one here with you guys again and then go finish the rest of them up by myself um, so we might do that and then we can chuck in some of this stuff so let's go uh, dirt um, we'll get some gravel sprinkle that in around here uh, we can do like maybe like a slab that's not what we wanted I'm going to drown in a second. There we go. We can maybe like slab it up, you know, help the uh, level and things change a little bit. Let's put you away. Let's grab out you, some mossy. And let's put the shovel away. Let's do this here as well. So let's get a little bit of gravel around the place. Sprinkle you in down here. We'll get some more dirt on the bottom. Uh, I don't really like the the stone too much around the place. Um, let's fill in this just here because I'm not sure why that was there. Go ahead and slab you up a little bit. Maybe throw in some uh, mossy stone just over this way. Nice, looking pretty good. Let's put one over this way. Let's just kind of sprinkle it around a little bit. We can trapdoor some of this as well just to help break things up a little bit. And looking pretty groovy just there. Probably throw in a couple of slabs as well. That could help a little bit. Nice. It just like adds something else, you know, just a li nice little like um, little bit of a rounded ending and things to the whole um, area. I'm going to try a fence post and see how that looks down there. It actually looks pretty cool. I don't mind that, actually. We can go ahead and waterlog some of those. We'll just not put in too many, but just a couple. And yeah, I don't know. I think it makes it look really cool. Maybe we'll go add some of those to the other one as well. Like, I don't want to overdo it and things, but, you know, at the same time, you got to do a, a little bit. So, to get it all kind of looking groovy, there we go. We'll just add some of these around the place again. Um, we'll break some of these off, add in some kelp again. There we go. Pop you in, you in there. We'll chuck another kelp over this way. Right over this side as well. And by the looks of that, it's getting nighttime, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make it daytime really quick, and then we can come back and finish this one off as well. Uh, so we are back here. Um, I don't know what else we really could add. We could probably add a few of uh, these sugar canes around just, just to uh, add a little bit more detail, um, but they're not really going to be able to... Um, be around too much and I have no really fish in here to add in either so that kind of sucks because 
we don't we like i will eventually add in the fish but we don't really have any just yet so you know i don't really know what else we could do we could probably add like a little tree just here on the side this kind of will more of like a bush shrub kind of thing um just to do this but we might end up even moving that because of the bridge if it's in the way i don't i don't know yet but we'll have to see um but that's that when they're done so i'm gonna go ahead and um finish up these last few i'll probably bring you guys back once i do um there's like a really cool connecting one I think it's over that back side there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish these two up. And I'll um, bring you guys back to do that last connecting one because it could look pretty cool. We might add like a little sneaky feature in there or something. So yeah, I'll be back and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty guys, I just go ahead and just finished them all up. Um, it wasn't really that exciting of a feature as I thought it could have been. Um, but yeah, we ran out of fences. So I'm going to have to come back and put those in when I bring some more fish over. But as you can see here, this one here has like a little... Um, Kind of like a swimway kind of feature so it kind of connects to both of them which i think is really cool and i think we might like add like a nice pathway to each of them inside our crop field just to you know really like kind of have a purpose to come in here and actually have a look at them because otherwise they're just in the middle of the crop farm that you know you're never gonna really even uh walk to like anything at all so i guess we're gonna now we're gonna go ahead i'm just gonna put this stuff back um I'm going to go out and try and uh, find... I don't know if I want to do that now. Hmm. Maybe we will uh, go and build bridges right now. That could be an idea. Can I just break this? And there's my timer. So, yep, I got to go put my washing out. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get some materials to build uh, some bridges. And I will meet you guys back here for that. Alrighty, guys, we are here. I'm ready to build our first kind of little bridge here. Um, so, it's not going to be anything crazy, I don't think. We might do it like about four wide. So, we go ahead and slap down our logs there. I'm putting some trapdoors there just to make it a nice like kind of, you know, sit down kind of step up thing we might take this back one as well just along here and we can just add in those we might change those to cobblestone actually just to uh make it you know um fit in a little bit better with the rest of the pathing considering that this is actually along the footpath kind of thing not really so much the um the build itself so pretty much all we're going to do here is come out maybe one more yeah, there we go. I think we'll do something like this. And then we'll lay down our campfires. Not there. You do not need to be there. Kind of need to be on this one. Do you not do that? Okay. You place on the bottom of the thing. Okay. So you can break. I guess I should have done that with my silk touch thing, I guess. So if we do this, can we place you there? There we go. Um, so I guess we'll... We'll put in some placeholders here just at the moment. We can turn you off. And then we'll go bang, bang, bang. And turn off, turn off. There we go. Uh, this one here isn't going to be overly long either. So we may as well go ahead and just do our other side. And then we can uh, know where we need to meet in the middle kind of thing, if that makes sense. So we go ahead and do this. We'll do our one, two. Just like so. We can probably break this actually and just to save some logs because I don't think I have many. No, I don't. Um, then we guess, I guess we can just do uh, like this really and just meet them up in the middle. Kind of need some more of these. Let's grab out a fair few of them. Um, I guess I'll need a crafting table as well. Let's just plop you down there and we'll get some more slabs. There we go. Nice. Let's just chuck all these down and one, two, three, four. There we go. Fill in this little area just there. Break you. And then we can do our campfires just over here. I mean, if I break it with a silk touch, if it will give it back to me. Yes, it will. Okay. Good to know. Uh, so that's kind of like our just our little walkway kind of thing. So we're going to go ahead and break these now that we do not need them here anymore. I think it'll just make the bridge kind of look a little bit better as far as like it's actually being a bridge, not just putting campfires on top of blocks and things because I don't really see the point in doing that. So we'll go ahead and get rid of these ones just like so. 
and there we go grab our a nice little slabs and we could probably put them back in under just in here so it doesn't look so funky like um, but that's really just the basics of it um, we'll go ahead and use maybe some regular oak yeah I reckon some regular oak just along here we'll do one more on this side and then we'll do a three just there nice we'll do the same thing on the other side so it was just before here so we go one two and three two and three there we go looking pretty good so far I guess we'll use um We'll go like this combo kind of thing, how you can do kind of like a um, fence gate and then a fence. Oop, oop. Maybe we'll do something like this, if that makes sense. And then we can do this one and then this one and there. Okay, that's very uneven and looks quite terrible. Um, maybe we shan't do that. Maybe I'll just break this and break you. We'll pop you down just there. We'll break this one just here. Then we can maybe use some um, trap doors. Actually, we should probably use that for the. I like that kind of better for the like bridge kind of thing. Makes it less like I don't know crazy like. Um, so we'll break these as well. And I guess we'll chuck in one of you just there. Nice. We'll grab our like all our fences and things that we need. And we might get rid of you just that one layer. And actually we'll probably leave that one there. Just to help uh, break things up a little bit. And then we can come along to this side as well. Chuck in our uh, trap doors. Bang. And there we go. We have those there all done. Looking all right at the moment. We might come underneath and even like add a little bit of texturing underneath. So we might add some... Where did you go? In there. Interesting. Okay, we might add some like upside down stairs in here just to help, you know, break things up a little bit. Do I actually not have any more? Of course I don't. One thing I wish they did to add in this game is like a backpack style thing. I know they have the shulker boxes and stuff, but I know something easier that I can obtain because I don't want to go there yet. Um, there we go. That could look pretty good. I, why is that not even? Uh, um, hello? Hello? What, what, what is happening? That one is on the first one, right? That one is on the first one. But then this here does not... Oh, it's on the it's on the wrong one. That's why. Let's break these. I was really, really confused by that. Honestly, it... Kind of embarrassing how long that took me to realize. Let's break you as well, because you don't really go there. Then we can do it upside down along these ones just here. Alrighty, I think it's looking pretty good. It's getting there anyway. We might add a little something like this to either side. Let's jump up and over. Then we go one there and one there as well. Nice. It's like a nice little bridge. Um, we can go ahead and probably change out some of these for barrels, I guess. We'll do the bottom ones for some barrels just to add a little bit more of a texture difference. And just to shake things up a little bit. There we go. Go ahead to this one over here and here. Do like a whoop and a whoop. There we go. Looking pretty groovy so far. Um, we can then go ahead and maybe add like some of these to here. Can you go on top please? And I guess we'll do one on the inside as well. There we go, we can add our lanterns on top of that. And I think that there is looking pretty good. We might add a little trap door on either side of these just to help it flow a little bit better. There we go. And I guess that there is pretty much it. I don't even have any lanterns with me either to make them, so that sucks. Um, but yeah, that, that's our little bridge done. And we can come along to this side and just kind of 
do our little walkway out. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty simple, pretty easy. I'm going to go sleep real quick so I don't have to deal with all these mobs. I'll get a few lanterns made up as well. And uh, I'll meet you guys back to do the next one. So there we go, guys, just kind of changed this up a little bit and just added some like stone uh, blocks there instead of just like the wood continuous. So it kind of breaks things up a little bit. Um, yeah, I kind of like it. And for the next one, we'll probably do something a little bit different, but keeping that same style. Um, I think it's going to be probably like a bit bigger, obviously, because we're coming from this side here. So this one's going to be kind of difficult to do, right? So what I'm thinking is we're going to have two sides of the bridge. So we're going to have one going this way, and then we're going to have a split coming off the side just here. So I need to get rid of all of this crap, really. Um, and then we're just going to go ahead and probably lay down the foundation in uh, the slabs for the moment. And can we do a four wide just here? We can. This is going to like fill up the entire thing. So that's fine, I think. I mean, we could do a three wide. It's not really going to hurt anything if we do that. And then we kind of come up along this way. So we're going to then just add these here. And do something like this. And then we can break you. And we'll keep the same, like, uh, height for a little bit longer on this one. And then we'll change it, like, about now. And then that way it could look, like, um, a bit of a, a bigger style bridge. So we can do, like, the three again. We can break you, because you don't belong there. And then we do uh, up one more again. There we go. Something like this, maybe. And we could even potentially go up one more. Uh, just so then that one there looks a little bit of like a height increase, you know. And then we can start bringing it down. So if we do something like this. And then we do one more just there. So that, that would be the bases of our thing. Um, and then we can go ahead and I don't even have, I'm gonna have enough campfires for this um, But do we want to do it there? So we'll start it on this one. Um, I do need some Shovel and Then we can go do do. Oh, okay, that's not gonna work then is it? Let's break you break you Thank you. Okay, so seeing as that's top level We'll need one, I guess, um, slab just there. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure this out a little bit. Um, but then we're going to have to come this way, I guess, on this one or this one. I guess this one would make a bit more sense. So I guess we'll bring this over by the three. Do something like that. So that's going to be our bridge just kind of here. It looks a bit funky, but it should look pretty cool once I get guns. Once I get blah, 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 blah. Once I get working on it a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this one here. Because I feel like it's going to be pretty fiddly to get down. And I'll bring you guys back once it's all finished. Uh, so I think I'm done here with my little design. Um, it's it's interesting to say the least, I think. Um, I kind of like it. Uh, at the same time, it looks a little funky still. Um, do I have many trap doors? There we go. Um, I think I'll just do something like this, though. Um, just to help tie it up a little bit. Um, I've gone ahead and add these trap doors like on the side here just to make it look a little bit uh, more sturdy I suppose. Um, and then I added like these like kind of stairs in here. Um, we might get rid of some of these. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, we'll just go ahead and add you in here. And this is kind of like our bridge for the moment. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, we can go ahead and add you in just here. There we go. I don't think you're meant to be there. There we go. We got a nice little uh, bridge here. I'm pretty sure that's all of the ones that we needed to do um, as far as this goes. I might just need to like tidy up this kind of edge a little bit more. Maybe make it so you can come down and, you know, jump in if you wanted to. But yeah, that's that's our bridges done for the day. We're doing pretty well as far as uh, things we've done today. Um, let's break you, pop you down there. And ah. I just love it. Now we have like a real way to get around the place and it just makes it look so much nicer and cooler. You know, we're adding like all these little 
little things. Like, I just love how this world is turning out. I like this bridge a little bit better. I just, it, it looks a little bit nicer, simpler, and um, a bit cleaner, but... You know, we can't really do that on that one because it's a bit a bit different, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but I guess for the moment, I can go ahead and uh, chuck a lot of this crap back, and then I think we might go out and grab some more fish. I think that's what we'll do with the rest of the episode, so I'll meet you guys out on the boat, probably heading out that way. Uh, so one thing I uh, did need to get onto before we uh, did actually go out is I wanted to enchant a, a fishing rod as well. I need the lapis. Derp. Let's grab some of that. There we go. And put you there, this one there. So we got a law too. Um, I'm not really sure if it's going to really pay off for us. But um, we're going to give it a go. Uh, we're going to hit it there. Luck of the sea, lure two, and I'm breaking three. That's not that bad. I, I don't mind that. I'm, I'm pretty all right with that one. So we're going to leave that one there. We're going to pop in. We'll bring it with us actually. We'll see how it goes. But I'm going to be building like an AFK fish farm kind of thing. Um... You know, some people love them, some people hate them. Uh, I've never really used one before, but I know you can get, like, a lot of good books and things, and, like, as far as that goes, like, I'm kind of here more for, like, for the building purposes of things. So, you know, if we get stuff that... Um I'm going to go this way and use our new bridge, actually. Um, so if we get stuff that helps, you know, uh, a little bit with, uh, you know, getting those good enchantments and things on our tools to help us, you know, break more stuff, obviously. Um, I'm all for that, so, yeah. I'm going to be going ahead and do that in the next few episodes or so. I just wanted to go ahead and use those levels while we had them. And coming out here, we probably should have slept as well. And this here is our little pathway coming down into the river. There we go. So let's chuck down our boat and let's go for a little bit of a cruise. Let's go, like third person because it's really painful to watch in first um, but there should be a lot of fish out this way I believe um, I think this is where I found them last time so I'm probably gonna go out and find them again and I'll bring you guys back once we find them so one thing you can do is like if you have a silk touch I think you can actually break these yeah and they stay what they are so we're gonna go ahead and get these um, just because we will need them for our uh, ocean kind of build I guess we could say I have too much stuff. I'm going to get rid of these potatoes. We don't really need those. I'll get rid of these ingots. Um, yeah. We'll grab this as well. Yoink. It's going to be kind of hard, actually. I might, like, leave this stuff because um, we're not going to have enough room to carry everything around. Um, but we can go ahead and grab some more sea pickles. And we'll get some more fish as well, I think. And then we can head home and pop them in our, like, ponds and stuff. So, come to me. Yeah, what is that? Was that a puffer fish, Galpy? It did. Yeah, what the heck? Come here. God damn, these little things are fast. And yoink. And yoink. And yoink. And yoink. Uh, uh, there we go. Got one more bucket. Where you at? There we go. You're mine. Swap these over. And there we go. We've got one more up this way. Nice. Let's go find some more fish. There we are. So we can come back up our little pathway that we made before. And uh, head down to our ponds. I guess we'll go to this one over here first. Um, just because it's probably the, like, furthest one away from the other two um, and we can chuck in a few fish around the place here we are so I guess we will just kind of do something like this how many do we have I believe four and five for the next one yeah that should be good so we'll go ahead and um, plonk these in just down here we'll get them a little uh, grooving and moving there we go. We'll pop four in this one, and then we'll come down this way. We can pop another one just in here. And then we can do a one and a two. Nice. There we go. So we got those all those little fish in here. It'd be something cool to come in and have a look at um, once, you know, they're all uh, in their kind of homes and things. And then we can probably chuck one more in here. Chuck a puffer fish in here. Ow. Bro, I'm just trying to feed, like, get you out of the bucket. 
You're the trying to kill me. Oh, there we go. We can probably chuck some sea pickles in here as well. And our fences that we need to add to. We go ahead and chuck in a few of these just to light up the place a little bit. Chuck in one of them. Let's chuck in a couple up this way. And we can probably put in our fence posts as well. There we go. I think it adds a little bit more to the place and helps light it up as well. Let's do a few of them just in there. We can bring some down this way as well. Let's do a nice big four one over there. We'll do a two and a one. Fence post. Go away from me, pufferfish. Do not appreciate you. Okay. There we go. So we'll add a few more sea pickles over this way as well. We might need to go out and get some more actually now that I look at it and how low that we already have gone through. Uh, but here we go. We'll add a couple into this one just over here because it's probably like our main one at the moment that we can come and look at. So we'll pop some over there. There we go. Looking pretty good. And now let's run over and around to this other one. These other two actually. We got a fair few fish to give them. Um, they should look pretty cool too with the bridges going over top. Um, so we can chuck in a couple of sea pickles in this one. Let's do two there. We'll do one over this way. We'll only add a few fish in this one. Let's do two fish. There we go. Looking pretty cool. And there we go. We got a couple more for our last little um, area over this way. So we still do have this one pond just up here. Then we have this one up here. We'll, we, I don't think we'll chuck... Uh, many fish in this one. We'll chuck a couple sea pickles though. Let's do that. Chuck in our fence posts as well just to make the place looking extra tidy. Let's grab a bucket of water actually. Let's waterlog that. Nice. Can you guys get out of my crop field please? That would be really nice. Um, and go ahead and probably pop a few more fish in here. Let's do one and let's do two. There we go. And we get four fish in this other one over here. We do the puff puffer fish at the end because it's rude and just likes to stab me all the time. Let's do some nice stuff over here. Let's do one more at this way. And then we can do another three over this side. Nice. Let's add our fish in here as well. Two and three. And then we can add the puffer fish. Nice. This has been a very productive episode. I'm really happy with it. Maybe we can add like a couple of these down here as well. I think that will like kind of add. Oh yeah, that looks cool. I think I'm going to have to come back and hit these up with some coral as well. Once I get some more around the place. So that really looks awesome. So yeah, I think that there might wrap up today's video, guys. We did do a fair, like a fair bit, honestly. Like we did all these lake um, changes. We added uh, these bridges around the place. We got some fish in there as well. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this one, probably a long one. So sorry about that. I hope you guys enjoy that. And uh, I will be catching you guys in the next one. Later.